So basically, if this is a quadratic equation, if you will simplify, then you'll get that it's a quadratic equation. The simpler logic over here is to take the variable over here on the left hand side and subtract. In the same manner, if I take LCM over here, what will I get guys? I'll get B plus 2A and in the denominator, it is 2AB. So you see, we have got two groups. This is the first group and this is the second group over here, comma minus B by 2. So therefore, these are the roots of this quadratic equation. Hello everybody. So we have got this equation over here, although it is not mentioned in the question that what type of this equation. So basically, this is a quadratic equation. If you will simplify, then you'll get that it's a quadratic equation. So the basic method can be you will take LCM in the right hand side. So you can solve it using that method as well, but that will be that would be a wastage of time. The simpler logic over here is to take the variable over here on the left hand side and subtract. If you simplify like that, you'll be able to do it quickly. You see, this is 2a plus b plus 2x and minus 1 by 2x over here, and that is equal to 1 by 2a plus 1 by b. I hope this is clear up till here. So let's simplify this thing. Again, if I take LCM, I'll get 2x minus 2a minus b minus 2x. Now in the denominator, you have to multiply these terms, guys. So you'll get 4ax plus 2bx and then uh, you'll get 4x square, right? In the same manner, if I take LCM over here, what will I get, guys? I'll get b plus 2a and in the denominator it is 2ab. I hope this thing is clear. So you see over here we can cancel out this guys, right? And in this step only, can I not take minus 1 as common over here? If I take minus 1 as common, I'll get 2a plus b over here only, right? So you see 2a plus b and 2a plus b will be cancelled out. I hope this thing is clear. Now let's cross multiply. What will I get? I'll get minus 2ab and that is equal to 4ax plus 2bx plus 4x square. Now I can take these things on the other side of the equation and let's rearrange it properly. So can I write it like this? 4x square plus 4ax over here plus 2bx over here and then plus 2ab. I can do something like this and that is equal to 0. So you see we have got two groups. This is the first group and this is the second group over here. Out of the first group, I can take 4x as common. So I'll be left with x plus a over here. Now out of the second group, I can take 2b as common. So again, I'll be left with x plus a and that is equal to 0. Now out of this whole expression in the left hand side, I can take x plus a as common. So you see, I'll be getting x plus a and inside the other bracket will be left with 4x plus 2b, 4x plus 2b and that is equal to 0 over here. So what are the two roots of this quadratic equation guys? I can say that x will be equal to minus a and the other thing will be minus 2b upon 4 or if you further simplify, you will get minus a comma minus b by 2. So therefore, these are the roots of this quadratic equation and you can solve it easily if you use this trick. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.